Listen everybody To the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day Now this is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world. Iran is top issue as Obama and Netanyahu meet. According to the Associated Press, peace talks with the Palestinians dominated President Barack Obama's meeting last year with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, but will barely warrant a mention at their White House session on Monday or in speeches to a powerful pro-Israeli lobby. Pardon me. Iran is now the issue commanding urgent attention. The United States, Israel, and much of the world are trying to figure out how to deal with Iran and its nuclear program. While all sides insist a resolution to the long-running Israeli-Palestinian conflict is critical to Israel's security, the Israelis have come to believe that Iran may be on the threshold of developing atomic weapons and is the primary threat to the Jewish state. Secondly, today, 38 people are confirmed dead as tornadoes devastate the United States of America. According to the Associated Press, across the United States, survivors emerged to find a blue sky and splinters where homes once stood, cars flung into buildings like toys, and communications crippled after dozens of tornadoes chained saw their way through a region of millions leveling small towns along the way. At least 38 people are confirmed dead, many are missing, uh, in five states. But a two-year-old girl was somehow found alive and alone in a field near her Indiana home. Her family did not survive. A couple that fled their home for the safety of a restaurant basement made it, even after the storms threw a school bus into the makeshift shelter. The Bible says in Isaiah 29, 6, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Uh, we read a headline recently on bcnn1.com that said, over the past three years, could it be that the Lord is trying to get the attention of a wayward America? Third, today, Palestinians are set to present conditions for return to peace talks with Israel. According to Haaretz, the Palestinian Authority has set a number of conditions for the resumption of peace talks with Israel. The conditions reportedly include the acceptance by Israel of a two-state solution based on the 1967 borders with the possibility of a limited land swap and a complete halt of settlement 
construction, including in East Jerusalem. The conditions are also said to include the release of Palestinian prisoners held in Israeli jails. The Bible says in Psalm 122, 6, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. You can read these stories in depth and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty-four forty-two: Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. If you are not ready for the Lord's return, the Bible says, John 3.16, For God so loved the world, the Bible says rather in John 3.16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. May I encourage you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. Believe on him uh, as your Savior. Ask him to come into your heart and save you today, and he will. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, that thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God bless you. you got to get-